I want to show you how to do a loan amortization on the HP 10B2 Plus financial calculator. So what I have here is I have an Excel spreadsheet that actually has a mortgage amortization table. So I'm going to assume that the mortgage is 200000 The annual percentage rate is 6%. The term of the loan is 30 years, which is 360 months. And I've worked out the payment here to be $1,199.10. Now, in order to create an amortization or to use uh, the amortization button on your financial calculator, you're going to have to put this information in and solve for the payment. Now, for those people who may not be familiar, what a loan amortization table does is it shows you how your payment is divided between interest and principal. So the beginning balance is 200,000. You make a payment of 1199.10. The interest for that first period is $1,000. So half a percent, right? 6% divided by 12. This is an annual rate. We're using monthly um, rates. Half a percent times 200,000 would be 1,000. So of this 1199.10, 1,000 goes to interest. $199.10 goes to paying off principal. Now, the second uh, month, you have a slightly smaller beginning balance because you paid off a little bit of the loan. So you're paying a little bit less in interest and a little bit more in principal, and so on and so on. And you can see that after you've been paying for a while, let's say after you've been paying for five years, now you only have a balance of $186. Uh, $1,375.94. So instead of paying $1,000 in interest, you're paying $931.88 in interest that month. And so over uh, $267 to goes to paying off the balance. And as you move through time, you can see this column, which is the principal paid, gets bigger. And this column, which is the interest that you're um, paying, gets smaller because the interest is based on the size of the loan. Now a table is actually the best way to see it in my view, but your financial calculator allows you to do this and to look at different rows or to look at what you've paid over a year, etc. So let's see how we would do that. Okay, first thing we want to do is solve for the payment. So make sure you clear the workspace. So I'm just going to use the clear all although you can just clear the time value of money functions. All right, I'm going to put in 360 months. I have set my periods per year as one. So I'm going to put in the interest rate as half a percent. Okay, I could have set it for 12 months and then it would have done the division for me, divided the 6% by, by 12. The present value is the amount of the loan. And hopefully, if I've done this correctly and I compute the payment, I get, I'll get $1,199.10. And in fact, I do. So you know how much you're paying, but what's the interest and principal breakdown? Well, if you look under the FV key, in red or rust colored is AMORT, amortization. So you can hit this downshift key and hit this, and it tells you from period one to period one. So it's just going to do this row right here. And to get the numbers, you hit the equal sign. You can see that the interest paid, I'm sorry, the principal paid, does the principal first. It tells you AMORT, PRIN. The principal paid is $199.10. If you hit the equal sign again, it tells you the interest is 1000 And if you hit the equal sign one more time, it tells you what the ending balance is, $199,890. Uh, $199, okay, and that goes back to the beginning. So if you do this again, just hit the... Um, the red downshift key and hit this, it'll do the second row. And again, same thing, equals. 
So you paid $200, $200.10 in principal. You paid $999 in interest. And your ending balance is $199,680. Right? And every time you just go to the amortization, it'll just go one, one more row down. If you decide, oh, I, I want to look at the first row again, what you do is this. You hit one input, and then you go and look at the amortization table. It takes you back to one. What if you'd like to see how much interest and principal you paid off in the first year? You can do this. So you would hit one input 12 and now do the amortization table and it tells you it's going to tell you what's happened between one, months 1 and 12 so it's going to give you the totals it's not going to give you the individual numbers it's going to give you the totals so let's see the total amount of principal you paid so if we added this 199.10 to the $200 and 10 cents etc all the way down to 210.33 it should add up to $2,456 and a penny. How much interest did you pay? You know, if you took the thousand and you added the 999 and the 998, et cetera, over this 12 month period, you paid $11,933.19 in interest. And it tells you what your ending balance is, which is $197,543. Um, we have 98 here it rounded to 99 so it tells you how much interest you paid over the year this is why when you buy a house in the early years you tend to get a good tax deduction the interest is tax deductible and in the early years you're paying a lot of interest in the later years you're not paying very much interest at all why is that? Because again, you have a small balance, right? If we scroll, we scroll down here, you know, that last year's interest is five dollars and ninety-seven cents because you only owe, you know, less than twelve hundred dollars on the loan. Okay, so most of your payment goes to paying off the principal. So if we looked at, let's say, the last, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. So if we looked at, let's say, the last 12 months, so let's see if I can do that. So from 349, 349, input to 360, right? So we're going to look at that last. 12 months the last year you paid a lot of principal 13,000 in principal remember you're making about a $1200 payment every month almost all of that right 12 uh, almost all of it goes to paying off the principal you paid very little interest $457 and a penny so you can see that you can figure out how much you paid we can figure out the total interest paid so let's do that. So from one input 360, and I've totaled them here, so let's see if we get the same, same answers. Amortization, so one to 360, you paid off the whole loan balance, okay, four cents short. It's never gonna be exactly perfect. How much interest did you pay? 231,600, uh, 676 or 677 okay this rounds a little bit and I don't know what 1.04 is so we'll just pass on that but here you've done and paid the full amount of your balance you can see that at least from this table here the total amount that you paid over 431,000 over um, 30 years breaks up this way 231,676 in interest, 200,000 in principal. But again, you can do that on your financial calculator. Okay? I don't find it quite as helpful looking at 
you know, being able to read down the rows. But if you were taking a test or you wanted to do a quick calculation, this comes in actually quite handy.